So the prerequisites for uh, this desired configuration uh, includes, it's a Config Manager 2007 feature, so obviously we need Config Manager 2007. Desired configuration management client agent must be enabled for the site. So we go in and we enable the agent just like any of the other agents that we've been doing. Software update agent, software deployment agent, um, uh, software metering. All of these various different agents that we turn on and configure, we have to do the same here. Clients must be Configuration Manager 2007 clients. We, uh, this is not supported with an SMS 2003 client, which is a down-level client. This is a new feature, so we need the new client. And then also, though, we need the Microsoft.NET Framework version 2 or later on the clients. This particular agent requires that framework uh, to work effectively. So .NET Framework is not a requirement for the client in general, but it is a requirement for this particular feature if we're going to turn this feature on. Now this is what the desired uh, configuration management client agent looks like. Not a lot to it. It's really just about turning it on and then enabling the schedule. right? So it's a very, very straightforward process once we've turned that on and enabled the schedule. Now remember the schedule is when the client computer is going to evaluate itself. So during its normal polling interval, it's pulling down all of our baselines that we may have defined and any changes we may have defined. But if I'm specifying a schedule here that says, you know, once every seven days, then it's not going to be until we hit that schedule that it's actually going to use those baselines. So just because I've deployed a new baseline doesn't mean that the client is going to immediately start evaluating that baseline. It will evaluate according to its schedule. 